Hello, I'm Rain here, and this is a video I've been threatening to make for a couple of years here now. And finally, the last couple of real life videos I did here, I'm kind of broke the camel's back here, so to speak. So, yes, yeah, so in front of us, everyone, we have a couple of the uh, GoPro cameras that I use. And yeah, well, for those of you who've seen my uh, last uh, couple of videos here, I uh, was working on a waterline project at the house here. Uh, using the, these uh, GoPros here to record some of that uh, footage and uh, yeah if you watch those videos of it there was zero footage from these GoPros of that project all the uh, all the footage I have was from my phone here because this GoPro in particular this one here this is a GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition corrupted every last single bit of video from that project um, all the files were there and possibly, I, mean, I don't know, I haven't taken the time to see if I can like, put them through a program and see once if we can get the data back or not, but uh, the video files will not play. Uh, they are all corrupt. Uh, that, of course, is one of the issues here with these cameras that we're going to talk about here, Devin. Uh, I have had several GoPro cameras throughout the years. I started out, I don't remember which one I had first, Devin, uh, but at the moment I've got a GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition. I've got a GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition. And then I've also got one of these little, uh, I think this is a number 5, yes, uh, Hero 5 Session cameras. Really don't use this one much. In fact, I, I think maybe once or twice I've used that. Hardly never use this one. And we'll get to one of the reasons why here in just a second. Uh, but yes, GoPros, everyone. Um, the newest one I have here is the number 8. I haven't used anything newer than that. So, and there's kind of a reason for that one. Um, I think it was like maybe a year or two ago, whenever the uh, 10 came out. So they're all the way up to GoPro Hero 12, by the way. But when the 10 came out, uh, I was looking at, well, maybe I should uh, replace one of these and get the number 10. But then I started reading some of the reviews, and it's like, hmm, these sound like some of the same issues I have with these cameras. So what are these issues, Evan? Well, let's just start right off here. First off, battery life, Evan. Battery life on GoPros is absolutely atrociously terrible, Evan. And then you get to cold weather, and it gets even worse yet. I mean maybe 15, 20 minutes outside in, uh, live in Michigan here, by the way. So, you know, it gets, you know, it'll be like uh, 10 degrees outside Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So it'll, it'll get cold outside. Usually it's more like in the 30s, but uh, still, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes of record time. I mean, 15 to 20 minutes. That is not very much. I mean, I, I, in this day and age, I don't think that's an acceptable amount of recording time. And now, of course, I mean, you can uh, flip the or take the batteries out here. So, you know, removable batteries, take it out, you know, swap batteries, put another. But then you still got to put another battery in, right? So that's kind of annoying all the time. Uh, with this one here, it's not quite so bad because this one's nice. Uh, starting with the number eight of one, they now have the integrated, I don't know what they call this here, but, you know, the integrated stand, right? Versus the uh, number seven here, you still need the old case for it yet. Uh, they switched kind of one of the differences here between uh, the seven and the eight. Uh, the 7, you still need the cases, and the 8 here has it built in, which is really nice, by the way. So that's kind of one of the issues. I mean, battery life is absolutely horrible. Uh, compared to my phone, I, mean, I can record, like, I, I'm not even sure, I'm not, hours. Many, many, many hours on my phone uh, compared to one of these. Now, I don't know battery size-wise, you know, this versus this, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, you can record many, many hours on my phone. Next issue I have a lot with that one is the cameras just freeze up, lock up, quit working, stop. You know, you, you go, you set it, record. Uh, a lot of times, uh, what I like to do these is time lapse of them. So, time lapse. I will do that with them. Uh, I don't record much in the way of actual footage with them. And it's because they're not very reliable cameras, that one. Uh, so, usually time lapses is what I will do with these. Uh, you'll set it up, hit the record button. Um, you know, I'll be working on whatever I'm working on, come back, uh, you know, maybe let's say it took an hour to do whatever it was I'm doing, come back, check the camera, the camera's froze up, locked up, nothing. It uh, corrupted the file, and then the camera itself is like hard locked, I mean, like you have to pull the battery out, wait a few minutes, put the battery back in, start the camera back up, at which point it's going to like, oh, the video files are corrupt, you want us to try to recover it. Like, okay, yeah, well, yeah, try to recover the video files, which... I don't think has ever been successful now that I think about that. I, mean, I don't think I've ever had a GoPro successfully recover the video files. Oh, maybe it has, but very, very rarely has that happened. Uh, so that's, what are we, issue number two, I guess? I'm not really keeping track of the issues. I mean, we're just, but next issue here. 
uh, is the, uh, I guess it's the stabilization. I'm not sure exactly what it is, though, and it's just the stabilization or what. But every so often, with these cameras, the stabilization, the video just would be shaking around like it's like, oh my goodness. And of course, the, the video footage is unusable at that point. I mean, the video footage will look like it's like you're doing this with the camera. And even though uh, a lot of times I'm not, I use these on a tripod, I, I, you know, I get it. I want it for out uh, maybe trail riding or something like that with one of these. But just sitting on a tripod and the video footage is, you know, doing this number, it's like, what in the world? Um, for those of you who watched uh, my videos, it, it's shown up from time to time. I mean, sometimes it's like, it's video footage. I kind of need some video footage here, so even though it's crappy video footage, thank you GoPro, uh, we are going to use it. So what are we got? Issue three here. So we got battery life. Terrible oven. Uh, I think that's unacceptable. Oh, and of course, uh, with the battery life, just one caveat here. Uh, kind of the one way I get around that. I don't know if I have it. I don't have it sitting right by me here, but, uh, but I'll plug in a uh, battery pack for these. So that, you know, okay, that fixes your battery life to some extent. I want you to just plug a battery pack into it. But that doesn't fix the reliability of uh, these cameras constantly locking up. And I've had multiple GoPros, Evan. <clears throat> I don't know if I've had it happen with this one, by the way. Oh, and speaking of battery life, by the way, that's why I don't really use this one. You, you think the battery life on these is bad, Evan. Wait till you see the battery life on this thing. Yeah, that thing's a useless piece of... <laughs> I, I, I don't know, like... Yeah. Anyway, it, it's absolutely useless, that one. Uh, so yeah, battery life, uh, problems with the cameras locking up. Um, then you got stabilization. At least I think it's stabilization issues. I'm, I'm really not sure what the issue is, but it's, and I've had it with both of these cameras. They both do it, that one. Uh, the one, the cameras I've had before this did that as well. You get the stabilization and it just, it, it looks like you're waving the camera around like a yo-yo, right? Just, yeah, no, no good. And then, of course, Evan, we have lots and lots of corrupt files. Now, the corrupt files, Evan, and I've read a little bit into this. A lot of people like to blame the SD cards. Uh, the last couple of GoPros I've bought here, Evan, I have, on purpose, bought the more expensive SD cards that GoPro sells. Now, if you buy the SD cards from GoPro, they're just a little bit more expensive than, like, say, if you just buy them from Amazon, Evan. So I've been buying the SD cards, like, from GoPro for these cameras. Um, one little maybe side note here, do have to be careful nowadays, Evan, there's a lot of knockoff SD cards out there and I can understand, but the SD cards are coming right from GoPro, Evan. It's been multiple SD cards, so I, I, I don't think it's the SD cards that fall down. I think these these things literally are garbage cameras, to put it bluntly, Evan. Um, which is why I said here, I will never buy another GoPro, Evan. I will never be buying another GoPro. In fact, my plan was, Evan, once I'm done with these, which we are done with these, by the way. These are going bye-bye. Uh, my plan was to maybe try, like, one of the DJI, was it Osmos? I believe it's the DJI Osmos cameras was kind of my uh, plan. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, DJI makes a action camera. They're typically called action cameras. So they make one very similar to this. And I had planned on trying this, but uh, we're going to go a little bit different route in this video because... Uh, well, after the last real life videos, I mean, I was looking to replace these cameras and they came across something. It's like, oh boy, okay, they, uh, they kind of got me on this one. I mean, and it'll probably be in the title of the video, folks will see it here. Oh, side note here too, Evan. Uh, I'm looking to uh, sell both of these cameras here. I was going to sell them both on eBay. <clears throat> we'll see what suckers want to buy them. You're welcome to buy them. <laughs> so anyway, I got these, uh, I've, I've listed both of these on eBay. When both the 7 and the 8 are listed on eBay. Uh, GoPro served me, well, served eBay, I guess, served eBay with a takedown notice for my GoPro Hero 7. They removed my listing because I, I got a picture of it, so I took uh, on the white table here, I uh, just took, took a straight down shot of the camera, and apparently GoPro did not like that picture or something, and uh, my listing on eBay for selling this one got removed. I don't know, you folks. Uh, <clears throat> I had some words to say about that one. It's like, yeah, well, we, we try to keep it G-rated here on this channel. But uh, there, there were some very, very non-G-rated words I had to say about GoPro on this one. Almost makes me want to uh, not do what I'm about to do. So we're going to set these off to the side here. Those are garbage. So what am I replacing these with that one? Please seriously question my sanity at this point. I want all the GoPros I've had, except for maybe the first one. I don't remember having too many, well, 
Yeah, we had some video quality issues, and of course the battery is poor on that one. On the very first GoPro I had, I know, you know, bat battery life has never been good on these, that one. Oh, and actually, that reminds me, real quick, uh, apologies, that one. Uh, I was going to mention something, this, uh, we were talking about the SD cards there. I really think what uh, GoPro needs to do, that one, is they need to get away from SD cards, if that is indeed at, what's at fault, that one, and just go internal storage. Like, it can't be that hard, I'm going to put 128 gigs, 256, 5, whatever, Put 512 gigs of storage right on the camera. Then you don't have to worry about the SD cards, that one. Uh, again, like I said, I record a lot of my stuff on my phone, that one. Storage, built in, battery, last long time. And if I do like have to re, uh, recharge it, it like recharges quick too. Anyway, okay, uh, apologies about that one. Back to uh, what I'm replacing this garbage with. Yes, that one, it is another GoPro. So please, seriously consider my sanity here, especially after GoPro removed my eBay listing. Actually, it was for this one, for the, for the number seven one. I'm like, you know what? I should just send this stupid thing back and stick with my original plan of buying the Osmos camera. And now, why did I buy this one? I went, well, what got me? Some interesting packaging here, by the way. Like, really? Brown paper? That's the way it came, that one. I'm like, okay. Yeah, so this is what got me. When GoPro has, I believe they call it the Creator Kit. Yeah, uh, the Creator Edition here. The GoPro Hero 12. That one. Now let me say one thing real quick here. If this thing doesn't perform better than these, that one, this is going bye-bye, and I will never, ever buy another GoPro for as long as I live. And uh, don't worry, everyone, you folks will hear about it. If this thing gives me some trouble, this thing is going to be gone, and we are going to go try the DJI Osmos cameras or something different. Uh, yeah, for those of you, maybe if you have any recommendations watching, like, these are obviously garbage, Evan. Don't buy these. Uh, what about, well, I don't know about this one, but uh, Osmos, and I don't know if there's any other, uh, I know Osmos makes them on DJI. I'm not sure of any other, like, really manufacturers. There's a lot of knockoff GoPros, Evan, and I have tried one or two of those over the years. Never had any issues with them, by the way. Uh, battery life on them is not the greatest either, kind of like the GoPro. Um, and usually it's more of the video quality on the knockoff cameras that's not the greatest. Oh, much, actually, yeah. GoPro, uh, at least when it's dark out of one, GoPro footage is almost unusable, so just FYI on that one. Anyway, despite their uh, claim to uh, low light performance nonsense, I just want to open this thing here. Ah, they got a nice pull tab on the back. So let's check this out of one. I thought you folks might like and uh, enjoy seeing this uh, particular camera here. This is the uh, Creator Edition. It's supposed to fix some of the uh, complaints, I guess you could say. Uh, it has a handle that has a battery in it, so that should solve the battery life to some extent. Ever. And then, of course, has a, an extra microphone on it, so that should record or fix some of the audio issues. Uh, again, GoPros are not known for having the best of audio quality. Oh, there's the camera. There's the camera. If I can get it out here. Oh, this thing. Oh, I might have to get a shot. Yeah, okay. This uh, this camera's a little bit bigger than that. Which, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna, it doesn't bother me none if it's a little bit bigger. If it works, it works. That's uh, going to be the more important thing to me. Oh, that's probably how it plugs into the camera, I'm sure. Comes with a little light, and ah, uh, yes, here is the battery. One. Which, how large is this battery here? Let's see if they say on it. I'm not seeing a capacity listed here. One, It's probably on here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. So anyway, uh, this is supposed to be good in cold weather, which uh, we'll be sure to probably test that here. Uh, it is getting cold outside, so we'll probably be doing some uh, videos outside here at some point. Okay, and then, yeah, looks like we just got the usual standard GoPro accessories for those of you wondering here. Um... I'm not actually sure what that little thing is. I'm not familiar with that. Wait. Looks like a side cover, maybe. Is there not? Let's take this off here, minute one. Your camera must be updated before you can use it. Okay. They call peelies off. Lots of peelies. Oh, this uh, oops. This will be kind of one nice, yeah, how do you like that, P11? Uh, the front, oh my goodness. Really? Come on, GoPro. 
You folks ever get annoyed when uh, the peelies don't come off good? There we go. Uh, one nice thing about this oven, uh, the new GoPro here, it does have a nice color screen so you can actually see what we're re recording. So if you know if you're doing this, I'm not, you, you look kind of stupid when you're doing this. But anyway, you can now actually see what the GoPro is seeing. So that is, uh, that is really nice. Oh, I see what this cover is. Okay, so this allows you to uh, take this off here, put this uh, one on, and then you can still plug into the side there. Yet I'm presuming this, oh yeah, this fits right in that. Yep, that is what that's for. Man. That's cool. I like that. That was always one of my uh, complaints about, uh, if we go back to the number eight here one. So like when I'm putting a battery pack on this oven, you gotta take the side cover off and you gotta leave it like that. Well, you're out in the elements and stuff like that. It's like, ah, that just, yeah. Never liked that one, but that is a nice change. I do like that. Put that back down later. Uh, okay, comes with a couple of the, uh, I won't bother taking off, comes with a couple of these things down in there. Comes with two cables. USB-C. Not sure what you got two cables for, but there's two of them. Looks like a microphone protector, I'm guessing. Oh, yes, okay. I will most likely probably be running it with that, because uh, out, again, outside, I'm going to get the wind noise and stuff like that. Comes with your mounts. Two different ones. That's kind of nice. And then I presume this is probably, yeah, a sticky base here. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like the center one there is empty. So that's all of our accessories, Evan. And of course, you got all the literature there. We won't bother reading that. Like what I will probably need. I'm going to want one of these here. Okay, so the GoPro Hero 12 of them. There it is. I don't know if this battery's charged or not. We're going to find out. They should send them charged, I would think. So, and you know what? I probably won't want this little piece. We'll put that on. Oh, this looks like a very industrial case. Let's see if we can figure this out here. Oh, that is a spring oven. That is spring loaded. Oh, wait a minute. No. I'm not going to want this. That plugs in there from the looks of it. There it is. Let me take this back off, everyone. So there's a little USB connector inside there, USB-C. So we're going to plug in like that. Close that cover. Makes it just a little bit bigger and beefier. Looks like we still use the bottom flaps it now. One thing I'm not sure about, where does this plug in? Ah, there's another USB-C on the back, okay. Oh wait folks, I'm, I'm, if this works, that one, which, is it too early to get hopeful that this camera might actually work, that one? But if it works, this should be a really nice setup here, everyone. Plug that in there. And then there's a light. Oh, yeah. Light there as well if we need that. Ah, it's got a diffuser cover on it. Okay. And a built-in tripod. If I can figure this out, everyone. There we go. That pops open. Hmm. Might have to look at it. I'm not sure how useful that is if it goes like that. I mean, let's see what's here. And this thing obviously has a battery in here, by the way. So hopefully that will make this last a little bit longer. Oh, another uh, another USB-C. Let's just pull up all the covers here. Uh, speaking of pulling up all the covers, uh, there is... Let me take, see if I take this back off here a minute. Uh, there's three covers here. So you got... That looks like a USB, one of the mini ones. I'm not exactly sure which one. I don't know why. Oh, you know what? I bet you that actually it's HDMI. I bet you it's mini HDMI one. Without reading the directions, I'm going to guess mini HDMI. Uh, USB-C. And then down below here, that looks to be an audio jack. So three and a half millimeter. Uh, we also got, ooh, we got a side mount here as well. So we could actually put, I just want to get this back off. No, just, okay. You can also put it here as well, I guess, if you wanted to. Worth noting. Not sure why I'd want to do that, but plug that back in here. Put this back on. Well, let's see if we can power this on. Power button. Lights are coming on. Light on the front is coming on. 
Hasn't broken yet, has it? Let's see, is it booting up? I don't see nothing yet, Owen. Nothing happening. Still trying to figure out this tripod here. Oh, okay. That comes out of the side. Um, I guess you can mount your camera there. Trying to figure out what that would be for. I might have to go look at the directions. I know, shameful, shameful. Okay, well, I do not have any video here. Like, what? Oh, okay, there's the light. Curious as to how useful that light is. Gonna, I don't, does, can you folks even tell them this camera? Let me turn this back off for a minute. I don't think I can even tell on these cameras that it's actually even doing anything. I suppose I could take the diffuser off, Evan. That might help. Where's the picture of this? Oh, okay. This is how they expect you to, uh, is this turn then? Oh, this turns. Oh, I got this figured out. On. Look at the picture. There you go. That is how that tripod works. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, this is just weird. But that is kind of cool. It turns up here. Okay. I can definitely see it uh, being turned this way when you're holding it. But then, yeah, when you're in tripod mode, just like that. Well, that is pretty nifty, Evan. Now, um, I'm just going to figure out why, like, the light is on, Evan, but there's nothing, there's no back screen, there's nothing on the front here. I don't know. We got to push some buttons here. Uh, battery, okay, we're like three, three out of five here, so we're not, like, low on battery. Not sure. Okay, I'll figure that out, Evan, and uh, maybe we'll be back if I can figure that out here in a minute. Okay, we got it uh, figured out here. Apparently, the uh, power... The uh, power button on here does not actually seem to turn the camera on. I thought it did. Uh, you still have to actually use the power button that's on the camera itself to turn it on. Uh, so yes, we are English. Uh, legal stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's, yeah. Am I allowed to say bad things about it? Uh, do we want to use voice control? I'm going to say no for now. That seems like a bad idea. SD card. Oh yeah, I don't have an SD card at the moment. Yeah, okay. Can we uh, just like skip that for now? Oh no, we like... Apparently, you do have to have an SD card in it to continue the setup. Really? Okay, well, I do have an SD card here, one. Uh, so the SD card, and again, this is the SD card that I got with the camera, one. So, like, if this SD card, like, oh, that SD card is no... I got it with the camera, one. It came with the camera. I'll see if I can get this thing out without hurting myself. Surprisingly, not bad. Thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. Some of that blister pack, gentlemen. You end up with scars that'll last you a lifetime, right? Wow, look at that thing, Evan. 512 gigabytes. My goodness. I still think, Evan, they should probably go with integrated storage here at this point. Uh, I can't help but wonder if that's part of the problems with these cameras. Okay, get this out. Ah, got to pull the thing down. There we go. Take the light off, apparently, so it'll open up all the way. Okay, SD card going in. There, now are you happy? Probably not. I'll mount it back up here a minute. Okay. Install the GoPro Quick app on your phone. Okay, well, I suppose we can do that here in a minute. One. Actually, I should have it already. Uh, something I really didn't use very often was the GoPro app. I've got it on here somewhere. Let's see what's here. GoPro. Follow the instructions on the app, huh? Hmm. Well, I don't see any instructions on the app. This is off to a great start, isn't it, one? Yeah, we're going to remove. Apparently, I thought I removed my old one here already. Apparently not. We're going to remove both old ones. Then we're going to connect to GoPro. We found your GoPro. Oh, Hero 12. Ah, perfect. Hey, look at that. That was easy. Connect camera. Let's see if we can tilt this up here. I don't know if folks will be able to see anything or not. Here's what's on the screen, by the way. It's just telling me to uh, connect to the uh, GoPro app on the phone. Okay, and it looks like it's going to want to update the firmware. Oh, and we're connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, actually, you know what? This reminds me. This is one reason why I never used my phone with the uh, previous GoPros, that one. Because uh, if you connect these to Wi-Fi, these all connect to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all that good stuff, by the way, Evan. But when you do that, guess what happens to your battery life, everyone? 
<laughs> That's right. You, the battery life is already horrible on these things. You go connect in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and that battery just whoosh, even worse yet. And then, for those of you who remember the older GoPros, um, I'm trying to remember, I don't remember which ones of them, but the older GoPros, if you connected the Wi-Fi while you were recording, you'd have weird audio problems. I mean, like every, I don't know, if it was like the antenna interference or something, you'd get a weird like zap sound into your audio, which, yeah, don't want that, right? Okay, we're going to update this here. It looks like this is, says it's going to take like five to ten minutes, so we'll be back once this is done here. Oh, Kevin, it looks like we're back here with the uh, update finally installed here. It did, uh, well, it took like a couple minutes. I don't think it's quite as long as the five to ten minutes it said. But yes, hopefully, I don't know if you can see the, is the front camera. I think it's on it. I'm, I'm looking at the lens up there on mine. Uh, but it looks like that is on there. Uh, I've got it connected to my phone here as well, so we can uh, tap the record button there if we want to. Again, I, mean, I don't typically use the, uh, the GoPro app on my phone, although... Now maybe with this handle thing, Evan, which will hopefully increase battery life. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see once how long this handle thing will allow it to record. I'm going to have to see once here. I mean, you know, we go from, you know, 30 minutes before to now we go to an hour. It, it probably still doesn't help a whole lot, Evan. Uh, you know, again, as I said, with my phone here, Evan, I can record for hours, like many, many hours. And the phone has the space for it too, Evan, so, and I forget, I think I've got... I go back and look if I got the 256 or the 512 on this phone. I don't remember, but anyway, we do have a 512 SD card in here, by the way. So I don't know, folks. I think it's time we uh, give this a try here. Let's uh, let's see what's here. I think I'm going to want to do. Actually, you know what? I probably want to do it like this way, way right? Dashboard. Oops, I must have bumped something. I don't want that. Um, I do have it set to the highest quality here, by the way. And one thing I do like, I don't know if folks can see that or not, but it does have an audio meter here as well. So it's nice to see that you are capturing audio. Uh, one of the things that popped up when the update was finished, it says it's using the front microphones. I think that means it's using this. I am not sure, hopefully. But let's uh, try recording that one. It's a little crooked here. Yeah, I know there's like a little bit of play here. So if I hold this straight, I could be wrong, but it looks like the camera's just a little crooked. Okay, let's uh, let's give this a try. Let's see what's here. Push the record button. Is this uh, recording? If it's recording, I, mean, I don't see an indication on... Yeah, you're pushing hold, maybe? I would assume the big red button would record, right? Maybe not. Record. The light on here blinks. I'm not sure what that means, that one. I think that means we're... Oh, it probably means we're in video mode, which, okay, let's... Record. You're plugged in. Do you not record? Okay, fine. I'll push the button on the top, that one. Well, it's hard to get to the button. Okay. Okay, so when you're actually recording, Evan, and uh, I'll, I'll try to show some uh, footage of this here as well, but maybe some audio from this. See what's how the audio on this sounds compared to uh, these cameras here. But uh, we are recording on the GoPro here at this point. This will be the first video on this GoPro. This is the uh, GoPro Hero 12 Black Edition. Or uh, maybe I should say that it's the uh, Creator Edition here. Watch. Uh, again, you can get the regular GoPro Hero 12, and then you just buy the handle thing separate, and if you want, I don't know, the light does not look to be particularly useful. I guess maybe if you're, like, out in the pitch black, it'll give you a little bit of light. And, and I'm curious to see what's what the um, what the video quality will be like here in the dark as well. And, you know, again, I try not to record any videos when it's dark out, but, hey, it happens, you know. Or sometimes you're working in an area where it's you just don't have a lot of light, right? So... Be interesting to see once what the uh, video quality will be like here on this, as well as the audio quality here with this uh, microphone. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit better than your standard at GoPro. Which, you know, again, in any sort of windy condition, Evan, GoPros definitely did not have a very good audio. That's something I'll have to say. You know, the phone here usually has pretty good audio with that as well. Okay, so we're still recording. Oh, the front screen did go black. Probably things you could change with that. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure. The button here is supposed to stop recording, but get up there. There we go. Stop the recording. Okay, well, anyway, that one, I think that is going to do it here for this video. My little rant video on this garbage here. Uh, the GoPro Hero 7 and 12. And like I said, I had, um, I don't know if I ever had a 6 of them, but I had a 5, I had a 4, I had a 3. And I'm trying to remember if it was a 2 maybe or a 3. But I, I've had several GoPros over the years, Evan. Never liked a single one of them. Uh, it, it seems like such a great concept. I'm a small little camera here. I especially like the you know the way the aid is set up. You don't really need this bulky 
bulky thing with anymore. For those who remember like the Hero 3s and the 4s and the 5s, you had to have a whole clamshell case that went around it to keep them waterproof and all that good stuff. Now they're at least somewhat waterproof on their own, so that's kind of nice. And then, you know, starting with 8 here, now you have the little built-in things on the bottom. Nice little feature there. All these are nice, Evan, if the camera actually works and if the battery actually lasts long enough to record any sort of video. You know, if you're only recording a couple minute clips here and there, it's probably great, but I like to do some time lapses. Usually my video content, or the, the one I'm recording is typically a little bit longer. You know, then I'll speed it up when I'm in the editing, right? But when it only lasts maybe half hour, maybe 45, you know, 45 minutes at the absolute most. I'm in optimal conditions, 100% charge battery. Uh, I, these all are capable of 4K, by the way, so that's usually I record in 4K. Um, I, I suppose I'm going to obviously lower the resolution. It probably makes the battery last longer, but come on. Recording in 4K, yeah. So these cameras are going bye-bye. Well, at least if I can sell them anyways. If, so I did earlier one. As they uh, removed my listing from eBay. Makes me think I should remove this as well, one, but we are going to give it a try. Please seriously question my sanity, Evan. I should go check myself in somewhere because I do not know what I'm thinking buying another one of these GoPros, Evan. The only thing is, though, when I seen this, I was like, I don't know, you folks, this looks nice, right? We will see once. We shall see. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to let me know. Uh, I'm sure some of you folks out there have GoPros. Let me know your horror stories as well. I'm sure there's got to be more than a few of them out there because I've owned a few of them, and they've all been garbage. So thanks for watching. Until next time.